What's up everybody, Bertla Speed here, back again for another tutorial series. In this tutorial series we will be doing Python programming, so we're going to start with some basic Python programming, and later in the future we'll be doing some more interesting thing, interesting stuff, okay? So first of all, you have to come to this website and download PyCharm, okay? Because I like, it's better when you use a graphical interface. So the first thing first, uh, you come to this website, that the link will be put in the description. You download uh, this one because this one is going to be trial. The professional version is going to be trial. So you take the community version. You download it. So once you get it download, once you have it downloaded, uh, you have to install it. And uh, I already, I already installed it. So there's no point for me to download it. So once you download and install it, simple thing. You just click next, 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 next. And then finally, you'll be having it here. I mean, you can put it here. So when you run it, it's gonna open. All right, it may take some time for you, depending on your computer requirements. Um, better have an SSD, open faster. All right, it's about to get opened. Right. So let's wait a little bit. All right, when this is done, I hope you already have some basic Python programming. Otherwise, I'll have to, I'll have to, to start with the very basic stuff because I'm just doing this. This is the fastest way to learn. I mean, I don't like going through the very basic things. It's going to get boring, all right? So you can create a project. What am I saying? Wait here. So to create a project, you click File, New Project. All right, you can put a location. So I will change a little, I change mine a little bit here, here. All right. Uh, how am I gonna name it? I'm gonna name it mm, tutorials. Okay. Create. Open in a new window. All right. Let me check where it is. Okay, it's here. All right, okay. Now, when you have your project, you can create many files into it, all right? So you right click on your project, and yeah, on your project, and you click here, Python file. You create a Python file, okay? So what we're gonna do is addition of natural numbers. Okay, so I'll just say the project name, the, the Python name is addition. Okay, let's just name it addition, okay? Click okay, enter. Right, now we have it here. Now, um, so first thing first we're gonna do is to ask the user the first two inputs, okay? The first two numbers. So for that for that purpose, we'll be doing print, all right? Um, okay, we'll be saying this is the sum of, sum of two nat natural, natural numbers, okay? All right, so we have number one and number two. So suppose we name number one, N1, okay? N1s will be equal to uh, int input, and I'll be asking him, enter the first number, all right? Now here, the reason why I put this is because when you say just, when you just say input, and you say enter the first number, it's gonna take it as a string, so we're converting the, the the value taken into to, into an int, all right? So second one, we'll say n2, we don't have to do this. Control D for to, to duplicate. We change this to n2, and we just, this is second number, all right? So this is the second number. Now, we got the first number and the second number. Now we'll be um, initializing this to zero, the sum to zero, all right? And we'll be putting, um, we'll be doing this, putting the iteration thing, the iteration variable to the first, to the very first uh, intake we're doing. All right. So if you say, if you say, if to make sure that it's a natural number, both should be natural number starts for zero and it goes till, till, till you know where. All right. So. <laughs> N1 should be uh, greater than zero, and N2 should be greater than zero. All right, now same uh, column. All 
all right then you get into here and you'll be saying while n1 is lesser or equal to n2 the sum will be equal to sum plus n1 but we could also do sum plus equal uh sum plus equal one what am i saying i said n1 and i'm writing one uh n1 okay let me put this in a comment this way all right that's how you put it in a comment okay and uh, n1 will be equal to n1 plus one same thing here you could have done n1 plus e plus equal one all right and now we'll be printing here we'll be printing the sum the sum from from the first number which is i because it's been taken here the first number from i to let's put some space here to the second number space equals sum all right okay now we're doing here in the case the guy didn't put it didn't put the numbers properly if he's if he's put an, if he's put some some value that is not natural that is not a natural number we should print we should print uh what should we, should we print we should print your numbers ain't natural numbers okay so what we got here we get a problem here okay we get this all right so this is it so how do you run it you have to click run click it here you run it all right if they're asking you to select you select it and then when you see here um they're asking you to enter the first number suppose we say first number is two and second number is five the sum from two to five is 14 right okay now uh, this doesn't look really good so we can we can put some return to the line here return to the line here and what else can we do let's run it again run it okay Enter the first number. First number two. Oops, what did I do? I pressed enter when I shouldn't have. Okay, so two, five. What did I do? All right, mistake, mistake, mistake. Here. All right, done. Okay, two. Five, and the result is fourteen. All right, so that's how you you find the sum of natural numbers between the range of the first number and the second number. So if you like the video, if you understood something, if you learned something, and you liked it, please leave a like down below, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.